I been a guy who sleeps late and wakes up late every day. But recently, using scientific methods, I changed myself into an extreme morning person in just three days. In this video, we'll discuss the scientific steps that anyone can use to wake up early morning. And in the process, I started using four new productivity apps that not only helps me to become a morning person but also increase my productivity. I'll share those. Also, on days when I have strict deadlines, I prefer to work late and sleep late. But now I wake up early and study. So is the change actually worth it? You are able to get up every morning. You will be successful in life. I guarantee you that. I'm not a big sleeper. Not everyone needs to wake up in the morning. And Hi, if you are new here, I am Raghuram Chandra Kumar. I am an alumni of IIT Madras. Which is scientifically the best? A person who sleeps at 4 or one who wakes up at 4? Night owl or early bird? Long before in our olden days, our ancestors to protect themselves, some of them has to stay late night and some of them has to wake up early. So partly whether we prefer to wake up early or prefer to stay late night, it's in our genes. But early bird and night owl are extremists most lies in between. But despite genes and our preference to wake up early or sleep late, studies have found that there are differences in terms of performance and health. So what are they? First, social jet lag. Majority of the world operates in 9 to 5. So regularly sleeping late forces us to wake up before the minimum required sleep of human. And this causes chronic sleep deprivation. And research conducted by University of North Texas found that early risers perform well in arcades compared to those who sleep late. Another study published in Nature Communication mentions that those who sleep late are at higher risk of mental health problems. Even it impacts physical health as well. Research by Phyllis C.Z. says it is important for our body to get light between 8 am to 12 pm because light helps us to synchronize the functions of our internal organs and those who wake up late will miss out that most most important waking up has an influence on our lifestyle studies found that those who wake up late had 60 to 90 minutes lesser physical activity per day and in long term, it is linked to type 2 diabetes, obesity, and depression. And a quick reminder, in the upcoming parts, I have shared four productivity apps that I'm currently using to wake up early and work efficiently. And the fourth one is genuinely a game changer. But let's talk about the elephant in the room. Let's say a person sleeps late and another person wakes up early. Let's assume both of them work 10 hours a day without any sleep deprivation. Who will be more productive? Before that, a quick announcement. If you are someone who is looking for quality gate and EAC exam coaching, I would recommend Gateball as their courses are taught by some of the best faculties and one of the institute where the student satisfaction is high. The batches are available in Hindi and English and currently there is a huge discount is going on in all of their batches. Here are the batch details. ESC Non-Tech 2025 General Studies and Engineering Aptitude 4499 Super 1500 Gate 2025 Batch 1500 Gate Test Series 2025 1000 Vijay 2.0 Gate 2025 Rank Improvement Batch P 5400 Rupees Parakram Gate 2026 Batch English and English 7200 Gate 2027 batch English 9400 Shreshat 2.0 Gate 2026 plus PSU plus Placement Operation batch CS and IT 15999 Shreshat Gate 2027 plus Placement Operation batch P CS and IT 19800 Now also experience infinite learning with batch infinity from PW offering Gate Kasana, PYQ books and more. Don't miss out enroll and if you use code RAGU500 you will get additional 500 rupees off. Let me share my experience. Last year, when I was at IIT Madras, my pre-final sum was stressful. Unexpected thing happened. I worked till 3. I had to complete my thesis work, which determines everything. Along with that, I wanted to keep posting videos on this channel. Plus, I wanted to crack IES for my higher study subject. Plus, I'm an inter-IT sports meet contingent. And at that time, I used to work late night and sleep for around 7 hours every day. And I was able to accomplish all. So I think if we are disciplined, then no matter when we sleep, we can get things done with quality. But I still remember many days I got hungry late night and I ordered food from Swiggy or Samato, which isn't good in any way. So overall, now I become a morning person, I'm able to get my things done and able to maintain a healthy lifestyle, have a better life balance. So I would prefer waking up early. But the choice is yours. You decide who you want to be. Now, before checking the scientific methods, this video I made because during my gate preparation, I many times try to be a consistent morning person. Some days I force myself to wake up early, but often I can't able to do. Days passed, I got MTech at IITM, then also wasn't able to be a consistent morning person. But recently I got awareness of this and decided and changed myself to a consistent morning person and did it. And if I can go back to my gate preparation days, this is what I would do. Now, how to become a morning person even if we are a night owl or even we are trying but not able to wake up early. 
without feeling miserable or tired for that we need to understand an element of our circadian rhythm sleep wake cycle in simple words it's a clock in our body which will make us sleep and wake up at particular timings of the day for simplicity we call it sleep clock everyone has a different sleep clock some people sleep at 10 and naturally wakes up at 6 am while others sleep at 12 and wakes up at 7 we are all different and as i mentioned earlier our genes have an impact on our sleep clock now the good news is no matter your sleep clock we can change it at our will so how to do that while my research i learned two ways the first one is scientifically correct one very easy and the second is huberman method which is fast but challenging let's look at the first one now how many of you here went for engineering college and now you actually lost your life that wow bro we have to study and we have to become the next iron man bro am that's what happened in my btech life by the way that's sad because it doesn't help me with health or career and i did end up nothing after my btech but there are couple of things i learned from this this is a data by american sleep foundation which recommends the average sleep required for a person based on age category so while shifting our sleep wake cycle rhythm we need to maintain at least 7 hours of sleep every day and secondly there are many difficulties associated with changing your sleep cycle rapidly like if you shift your sleep clock by 1 or 2 hours a day it has a negative impact on your behavior mood and focus so the safer way is we need to shift gradually that's why even though my college life is a tragedy but somehow i shifted my sleep cycle in a right way because i didn't immediately change my sleep cycle from 10 to 1 i changed it gradually while maintain sound as a sleep but how much minutes we can safely reduce every day so here comes our first app recommendation the sleep app it monitors our sleep stage because our phones have accelerometers and microphones based on the movements and sounds we make it will give a detail of our sleep stage sleep stages i feel it is a kind of over explaining for this video this is a screenshot if you want take a look at it in short we have four sleep stages and these four combinedly will repeat every 90 minutes and ideally we have to wake up during the sleep stage one now research points us that we have to change our sleep cycle every day by 15 minutes so in this app you can set a range of 30 minutes where you want to be awake Once you set the 30 minutes range, this app not only records your sleep stage, but also it will wake up you during your NREM sleep stage one. Let's say you are waking up at 10 p.m. every day. So on the first day, set your alarm range 9:45 to 10:15, and in the second day, set the alarm between 9:30 to 10. What if in that 30 minutes sleep stage one didn't come? Then it will wake you up by the end of 30 minutes. If this is complicated, just use your clock app and just set the alarm 15 minutes. early every day that's how you can gradually change it but if you want to have quicker results then huberman method helps us to change our sleep cycle in just 3 days no matter how late you sleep every day but i know one method that help me change my sleep cycle in one day So I used to be one of those guys who often sleep late and 70% of the days I don't have any problem of getting seven hours of sleep but certain days like when I have to go home the bus or train will usually leave in evening and reach early morning in my hometown the next day I observed one thing on those days when I travel I'll be tired by 10 or 11 pm and I'll fall asleep maximum before 12 am and I'll naturally wake up at 7 am next day I don't know why it works but it works for me but let's discuss about the Huberman method Now talking of Huberman's method unlike other methods it is fast challenging and it gives permanent change here is what you have to do first no matter what time you sleep next day set alarm on the desired time we want to wake up now you have to perform four activities immediately after it and why it works because circadian rhythm is controlled by a cluster of neurons sitting right in our head it's called suprachiasmatic nucleus called scn 
So these four activities have an influence on suprachiasmatic nucleus. So what are these? First, the moment you wake up, expose yourself to bright light, ideally sunlight. Now if it is cloudy or if you wake up very early morning, then switch on your room lights, make it so bright or look at bright light for some time. Now here is a bonus tip and the most important app recommendation. Countless research, including a study from Yale, found that games that are trying to improve our cognition are proven to increase our academic performance. Playing these games before working on academic content can better prepare children to increase their focus compared to other methods. Now how these games helps us? When we wake up, we are not alert. By playing these games will improve our alertness. So play these games one or two minutes immediately after you wake up. But as we have seen, the benefits of these brain games are beyond. So play these games before your learning sessions. It will increase your concentration and brain power, thereby performance. The app name is Lumosity. Now secondly, there is another element that has an influence on circadian rhythm. In your school days, have you ever embarrassed like this? If A is equal to 2, B is equal to 2, what is A plus B? I'm explaining a difficult max problem. What are you doing? Turn up, put 10 top of the rank. 1. Everyone, class everyone. 2. coming to the difficult problems. Yes, it happened with me and we'll be more alert after that. So secondly, exercise. Now you don't have to do your full body workout after you wake up, do some jumping jacks, push ups for some time. It will do it. But Huberman mentions it's best to go walk in sunlight for some time. It will work. It is the best. Third, have caffeine and eat something just for three days. Fourth, have social interactions. Talk with someone. Furthermore, Huberman mentions it's okay to maybe skip food or coffee. But if you do the rest for the next three days immediately after you wake up, Fourth day, you will wake up before or around the time of your alarm comfortably. And what I had additionally done is when I wake up, I immediately took cold showers. That has an impact on our circadian rhythm. Because a superman says, Um, three days of pain, the rest is easy. Now this is one side of the coin. To wake up early consistently, we also need to sleep early. So here are final five scientific evidences that we need to implement to completely become a morning person. That's also where our third and fourth app recommendation comes in. First is don't eat heavy meal at least two hours before sleep because then our body has to focus on digestion than falling asleep. Second is avoid caffeine post afternoon. Third is there is a hormone called melatonin that generates in our body during our sleep time. Like let's say we sleep from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. We'll feel tired around 9 a.m. because of the secretion of melatonin in our brain. But when we expose too much of blue light before sleep, it reduces the secretion of melatonin. And by the time we go to bed, we won't feel sleepy. So try not to look at screens post evening. And here is our third app recommendation comes in, which is Twilight, which filters the blue light post evening in our mobile phone. And for laptops, you can use f.lux. Fourth one is the hardest one on weekends where we mostly plan something and sleep late. So on that day, plan to finish everything before 8 p.m. and sleep on time. Finally, this is the app that I have been using for the past three months to work more efficiently and is one of the highest rated apps on my Play Store, which we can use on computer or mobile phones, which is Endal. This app has personalized soundtracks that will help us to focus, relax and sleep. I've been using it every single day while working and before going to bed and also you can set timers in it. It's a complete game changer for me. Now this is just one of the important parts in a competitive exam success or any other pursuit in our life. The other part is in order to be successful, we also have to be productive right after we wake up. Otherwise waking up early is less meaningful. To make a day completely meaningful, we have to utilize the time in a way that gets maximum accomplishment. So what is the best way to maximize our day? Check out this video where I have discussed evidence-based productivity principles that one can use and build a perfect daily routine. Stay driven. But I see the light from far away, it's down the line. Maybe I should not give up without a